So in this session, we want to pick up a problem which is uh, one of the most, I would say, uh, one problem that everybody does when you're doing recursion, but is extremely simple, but extremely difficult to understand as well. Right? Like it's the solution is very, very simple, uh, but it's so simple that it makes it uh, almost unbelievable, uh, like impossible to believe. Right? So the problem is tower of Hanoi. Okay, so what is the problem that we want to solve it? So we are given three uh, poles. The first pole has some disks in it, right? Let's call it A. You have to move all these disks to C. You can use B as a helper. Okay, so this is your helper. This is your source. This is your destination. You need to move all of these to destination and you can use B as a helper. There are a couple of rules. First of all, you can pick only one at a time. So I can only pick one disk at a time and move it. So first rule is only one disk at a time. Second rule is, the way you see here, the way I have drawn it, the largest disk is at the uh, at the bottom, then the larger, then the smaller one, then the smaller and the smallest one is at the top. At any point, a larger disk cannot be put on a smaller one. Right? So this is fine. If I had these two here, that is fine as well. But you cannot have a larger disk sitting on a smaller disk. Okay? These are two rules that you need to follow. And we need to print all the steps that we will take to move these disks from A to C. Okay? So you need to move all these disks from A to C and you need to print all the uh, steps that you would need to take. Okay. So now if you think of it like you can say, okay, I'll move this one here, the first one to the helper, the second one goes here, then I can't move the third one anywhere. So like if you think, try to think of it uh, like by yourself, it will be really complicated. Okay. But Let's think in terms of PMI. What does PMI say? If I have only one disk, things are super easy. I can just move that disk from A to C. So if I had only one disk, I am sorted. If I have n minus one disks, I can assume that I can move them from one pole to another using a helper. So the situation has to be exactly the same. In the sense that I can move n minus 1, but I need to have a helper as well. And I need to make sure that the destination is also there, right? So the condition has to be exactly the same. Uh, but induction, using induction hypothesis, I can say that up to n minus 1 disks, I can take care of. I don't have to worry about them. Now my work is to manage these n disks. Up to n minus 1 is fine. So, uh, one solution that some people give is basically this. If you can do n minus 1, why don't you move these n minus 1 here, right? Why don't you move n minus 1 uh, here? <coughs> So one solution a lot of people give is, hey, why don't you move the smallest disk here, 
right? Or let's say the smallest disk here. Now you know how to move n minus 1. So move these n minus 1 to the destination and then you can put this one on top. Right? So what, are, what am I saying? So first move the smallest one to the helper, then rest n minus 1, you can take it here using induction hypothesis and then move the small one to the top. Now there is a problem with this solution. Here you have this. So this is not the same problem as the original problem. The original problem had the helper as empty, helper was empty. Now the helper has a very small disk over which I cannot keep any other disk. So helper is effectively useless for me. In the original case, in the original problem that I was given, the helper was absolutely empty. So I, I could put anything on a helper. But now if you see, helper is actually blocked for me. So I can't move this n minus 1 here using induction hypothesis because induction hypothesis says that I can solve the exact same problem for up to n minus 1. What is the exact same problem? The exact same problem is that I can move n minus 1 to a destination using a helper as long as the helper is empty or uh, I can consider it to be empty. Right? So this solution is not going to work. You can't just move 1 to helper and then n minus 1 to destination and then 1 from helper to the destination. That's not going to work. So what's going to work? We can do something like this. Let's move these n minus 1 to the helper using the destination. Helper is empty, destination is empty. I can move n minus 1, that's not an issue. So I can move n minus 1, but instead of moving to destination, I'm moving to helper using the destination. So the next state will be, there will be one disk here, there will be these many disks here. So you will be in this state. Now, move this disk here. So the largest disk we have moved to the destination. Now the good part about the largest disk is, it's as good as the ground because you can, it doesn't restrict us from anything. You can just put anything on top of this. This is as good as ground. So first you move n-1 to helper, then you move the largest disk to the destination. Now you can move these n minus 1 to the destination from the helper using the source as helper. Right? So I can move from B to C and I can use A as the helper and I have reached the desired goal which was this. Right? So the largest disk is here and I am able to move n minus 1 here as well. So my code will be extremely simple, right? Base case, if n is equal to 1, I will just simply print move the nth disk from A to C, right? As simple as that. Now the next step, move, this is base case, I will move n minus 1 from A to C to B using C as the helper, nth will go from A to C, now n minus 1 will go from B to C using A. That is what we need to do. This is a recursion call and this is a recursive call. This is a single step for which you don't need recursion. You just print it out. Okay. So your function will look extremely simple. It will have basically a base case in which you will be printing something. It will have this recursive call. Then you will have some print statement here. Then you will have another recursive call. And that's it will be done. Okay. So quickly write code for this. Uh, it's going to be very simple. It's just try and replicate exactly what I said that you need to worry about moving n minus 1 from A to B using C. Now move the largest disk from A to C and now move these n minus 1 from B to C using A as the helper. 
okay perfect please try and code this you will really enjoy uh like if you are able to do this then you will really enjoy that feeling because it's going to be a very small code and it's going to give you a feeling that you were able to achieve something that you will it will be very hard for you to do it by yourself right perfect good luck thank you